pubic lice are a parasitic type of sexually transmitted infection, or STI. The parasite's scientific names are Pediculus pubis or Phtheris pubis. However, the insects are commonly referred to as crabs. The small six-legged lice are typically found in the genital area of humans within the pubic hairs. Some pubic lice will migrate to armpit hair and eyebrows, but this is not as common. The parasite starts as a nit, which is a small egg that is attached to a hair follicle. The nit will hatch out of the egg within six to ten days as a nymph or immature louse. The nymph grows into an adult louse within two to three weeks. An adult louse can grow to be between one and a half to two millimeters long and live for three to four weeks. The females will be slightly larger than the males when laying eggs. She will lay an estimated 30 eggs within her lifespan. Pubic lice feed exclusively on human blood. Pubic lice are most commonly acquired during sexual activity. Increased risk factors of the parasite spreading to you are having sexual contact with an infected person, having multiple sexual partners, sharing a bed, bedding, towels, or clothes with an infected person. The parasites rarely spread through objects such as toilet seats because they require a warm human body to live and their feet are not designed to walk across smooth surfaces. Common symptoms include itching in the genital area, skin irritation in the infected area, and sores or lesions due to bites and scratching. In some cases, people discover they have pubic lice on their own. A visual examination of a potentially infected area, preferably with a magnifying glass, may show small oval eggs attached to the hair, or you might see a louse. However, the lice and eggs are small and could be difficult to locate. If you think you might be infected, you should seek a proper diagnosis from a healthcare professional. Anyone that is diagnosed or infested with pubic lice should be tested for the presences of other sexually transmitted diseases and notify any sex partner over the last month that they might have been exposed to an infestation. There are effective over-the-counter treatment remedies for pubic lice that can be found at your local pharmacy or drugstore. You should follow the instructions provided by the product manufacturer. If the infestation is more severe, there are prescription options that you should discuss with your health care provider. Any treatment should be followed by utilizing a fine-tooth comb to remove any dead lice and eggs and machine washing clothes and bedding in hot water. Avoid sexual contact while being treated for the parasites. To prevent being infected again, make sure you and your partner have successfully completed the treatment regimen and are no longer infected. Pubic lice do not transmit diseases. However, secondary bacterial infections may occur from scratching the skin. If you have any concerns about being exposed to pubic lice, seek the advice of a medical professional.